Let's talk about where the industry is and where some potential careers for life scientists uh, in the industry. I started the conversation with vaccines. Did did life scientists play or do they play a role in in something as simple as vaccines? Of course, they do. I mean, so vaccines uh, are one of the triumphs of uh, of research in life sciences. Um, they came out of the the study of the immune system, which is you know a mind blowing uh, you know collection of uh, things that our body is able to do uh, using these these cells of the immune system, the white blood cells of various types the antibodies on their surface uh, it, it it you know that subject you can find parts of that that have molecular biology like the antibodies cell biology uh, systems level biology you know so just the immune system straddles all these landscapes and and the idea of vaccines came out of uh, came out of well the the phenomenology of vaccination was independently discovered sure that people realized that you could uh, you could sort of use uh, infected samples to to create a certain resistance to further infection but uh, figuring out how that worked and then using that to develop vaccines to new diseases is something which is a triumph of the life sciences um but your question is about careers um i should say that you know i'm speaking as an academic in the life sciences and my main uh, knowledge about this is sort of academic uh, oriented careers I, i do of course come in contact with industry um during the course of my work um but what i say about industry um maybe uh, uh, an expert would have more to say on that subject um as a as an academic of course uh, uh, you can you can become a, a professor uh, and teach and do research in the life sciences if you're at a teaching institution although typically your level of research will be lower the more teaching heavy the institution gets at a place like iit madras of course you have to keep both those uh, balls in the air as you as you juggle your teaching and research um and where i work at ncbs which is part of tifr um it's much more research heavy and we typically teach only masters and phd students and in these fields um you typically specialize during your phd and your postdoc uh, which of these kinds of biology you're doing you know mm-hmm. developmental biology or immunology or neurobiology or whatever it is and and eventually start doing the work in um industry in the life sciences it's there are two levels um one is the basic uh, industry that provides the machinery and the reagents and the resources to just carry out fundamental research in biology okay the people who make microscopes people who make other kinds of analytic tools the people who make fluorescent probes to study what's inside cells the people who just make the basic reagents the chemicals that we use on an everyday basis in in a biology lab so that entire cluster of requirements uh, is an industry on its own okay uh, it's a platform industry uh, dna sequencing for example is a uh, you know comes out of uh, uh, you know many companies these days who keep improving on the re- reducing error rates of dna sequencing reducing the cost per base of sequencing all that happened in industry um, not so much in academic uh, labs once the technology was transferred out so that that whole level of uh, industry is there and there are lots of um large companies uh, that are involved in this uh, including the diagnostic equipment that's used in hospitals all the way down to the equipment that's used in labs there are startups that are also involved in this that eventually maybe get acquired by large companies there are many startups in in bangalore for example that are incubated at ccamp which is uh, on the ncbs uh, campus which are involved in building new kinds of tools to study living systems so that's one level then there's the pharmaceutical industry mm-hmm. which uh, i mean i think enough i'm i'm sure your viewers will know um, enough about pharma because it's you read about it uh, their goal is um, very specifically to develop uh, drugs uh, which is to say you know chemicals or protein based um, protein based drugs which can be used to treat specific diseases and over there the 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 broad philosophy is that there's some complex disease uh, after a lot of research people find out that maybe this particular molecule is involved in this complex disease and that would have been work that ha- happened in some fundamental lab but then somebody decides maybe if i had a drug that prevented this molecule from doing the bad thing it's doing uh, maybe the disease will will not have 
uh, such a strong imp impact and so you you basically find little molecules that bind to bigger molecules and 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 then once you found that you make sure it doesn't have any toxic effects and once you've done that you make sure that it works in rodents and once you've done that you make so there's a whole pipeline for pharmaceutical development it's very very mature very well established industry